Way to go. What do you mean, way to go? I mean, way to go. You did it to us again. Me? Me. How come you always blame me? Hi, I'm Shai Bunty. This is my first year in speech. I'm in the eighth grade, and... Yeah. I'm Jared Motley. I'm in the eighth grade. This is also my first year of speech. Uh, we will be performing Holy Taters Kimasabi, It's Homes. By Katie Bradbury. I'll be playing Jason. And I'll be Ed. Way to go. What do you mean, way to go? I mean, way to go. You did it to us again. Me? Me. How come you always blame me? Because you're the one who always gets us in trouble, dork brain. Nuh-uh, not this time, buddy. I was just standing there holding my tray. You're the one that dipped Samantha's hair in the gravy. Sure. After you held her... After you held your mashed potatoes right up under her head, what was I supposed to do? Yeah, well, you explain that to Mr. Garment when he comes in. See if he believes you. <laughs> you kidding? That guy will believe anything. He's the principal. How come it's always us? Everything that happens around here, we get blamed. And we hardly ever do any of it. Hardly. Well, Adam, at least we're a team. Patrick and Spongebob. Well, I don't think we're going to get out of this one. Sure we can. We're a team, aren't we? We'll explain it to him that way. Like, like a team. Huh? We'll impress him with our acting. Listen, if it wasn't for our acting, we wouldn't be sitting in the principal's office. Nah, now we gotta rehearse something. Make sure we have the same story. Let's try it. Now what famous team could we do? I know. I say, Holmes. Yes, my dear Watson. Let's help our dear Mr. Gummer solve this horrible crime. Ah, yes. The case of the curls and the gravy. Who did it, Holmes? It was an accident, Watson. What? What, what, what? What? You see, it happened in a school cafeteria. What kind of school, Holmes? Elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> ah, yes. The poor girl was just sitting there. Yes. When suddenly... Yes. When suddenly, she has a fainting spell caused by an excess of onions in the school meatloaf. Yes! She immediately fell over backwards into some young man's gravy! Oh, bully Holmes, you've done it again. No, I haven't. I'll never swallow that gravy line. You're right. Too slick. I know. Glad you called us in, sir. I think we know who committed your crime. Holy mashed potatoes, Batman. Who did it? Cool your tights, boy wonder. Sounds like a regular to me. Great gobs of greasy gravy, Batman. <laughs> yes, my men are circular because they're a crime. He obviously crept into the school at night, suspended the gravy over the cafeteria table. And just as young, poor Samantha took her seat. Holy hailstones, Batman. He creamed her. This is awful. You're right. He'll never believe that. But wait. What do I hear off in the distance? Sounds like a social studies film. It's the thunder of hooves. A cloud of dust. You can hear a cloud of dust. And a hearty hi-ho silver and away. <laughs> Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear as the Lone Ranger rides again. Whoa, Silver! Cool it, Scout. You gotta get the brakes fixed on the Scout. No need to worry, Mr. Principal. This mask is on the side of the law. Look, Kimosabi, gravy stains some young Papoose's hair. Ugh. Who did it, Tonto? Tastes like a school of cooks. Ugh. I mean, who put it there, Tonto? Looks like the work of Meat Bobaloni and the Greek Gang. Look out! There they are now! Oh, oh, got me through Wasabi. You take a bullet? No, people on the arm. Oh, this is ridiculous! Only a fool would believe this. Well... No. Hey, listen. Why? I mean, I'm just telling. Huh? Put the gravy in the That's right. What's right? No, what was just standing there? I don't know. No, she was dipping potatoes. Who was? Who put the gravy in her hair? That's what I'm asking you. Who did? Yes! <laughs> Who? Yes! <laughs> what was the guy's name that put the gravy in her hair? No, what was just standing there and... Oh, we might as well get prepared for the worst. There's no way we're getting out of this one. I have an idea. What about the old, I'm sorry, Mr. Gummer, it will never happen again routine? You've got to be kidding. He would never go for that. And besides, didn't we try that last year when we flushed Susie's shoe down the jaunt? I remember you saying when you came out of the principal's office that you had to resort to your backup plan. I figured that sorry routine is what you meant. No, 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 no. That was backup plan number one. I saved plan number two until I'm forced to use it in a real emergency. 
Well, I think we have a real emergency right here, right now. I just heard before he got in line behind Samantha at lunch that Mr. Garment was on the warpath, especially after he found that rotten tomato under the cushion in his chair. Really? When did he find our latest little gardening spot? <laughs> what do you mean, our latest little gardening spot? Oh no! Don't tell me you planted that tomato in his chair. Okay, I won't. <laughs> well, now I definitely think we better practice. Yeah, and they can switch back and forth on my feet at the speed of a pair of shooting instructions. Yes, that's right, Mr. Gummer. You are such a fine example of what we want to be when we grow up, and it makes us feel really bad when we mess up. I guess we should stop and think about the consequences of our actions so that we may more carefully reflect the characteristics that we so admire in you, sir. Don't forget to say that I thought sad, lost, and ready to be rescued was too. That hits them every time. Don't forget to look down and raise these eyebrows up too. I think we're high lives, Adam. We may be a team, but I don't think. Ah, hello, Mr. Gummer. Hi, sir. Do you wish to speak to us? I don't think you came to dinner. You're not going to feed us, are you? Oh, baby, oh, baby. You're going to make us what? Go up for sweet tiny string funky duet action. You think that's the worst kind of thing you could get? No, please. <laughs> Very nice. You work well together.